Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. Now in this video we are going to look at an Excel macro that exports multiple worksheets into a single PDF file. And for this example on screen you can see that I have a Excel workbook with six different Excel worksheets. Each one uh, named after a different town or city in the UK where we are imagining that we have a retail outlet there and that we've got different information such as income and expenses for each outlet. And we need to export, you know, specific worksheets at certain intervals into a single PDF. So let's have a look at how to do this. So we've got these sheets. This is what we have on, on screen. Let me switch to my Visual Basic Editor use my developer tab here to show you the code that we've got now there will be a link in the description of this video as usual for any macro tutorials I do so that you can access this code and you can simply copy and paste and tweak for your own benefit uh, but to walk us through it here the start of it is is fairly normal uh, if you're familiar with this kind of stuff uh, we have the declaration of a variable a string variable and then a file path has been assigned to it. So you will want to change this. For me, the idea here is that we then use the mkdir, the kind of make directory uh, VBA function, to create a directory, essentially create a folder called PDFs on the desktop. Now this is the important bit in the middle here. The first part selects the sheets that we want to export into PDF. So in this example right now, I'm using the name of the worksheets, one called Bradford, one called Kettering. Now I could quite happily refer to these sheets uh, using index numbers instead. I could, you know, ask it to export, you know, sheets one, three and four, if that makes more sense for your scenario. Otherwise at the moment, I have the reference by the names of the sheets. I can put as many as I want in here, pretty much, separate on each one with a comma. Now, it may be that you just want to export the selected sheets. So maybe your user, or, or you, have selected multiple sheets, and then you want to run the macro in one click. If that's the scenario, then you don't even need this line. This is a line for if you haven't selected them, just to kind of export the same ones regularly. Leaving that in there for now, uh, we then export into PDF. So export as fixed format, Excel type PDF, that's creating a PDF called sales and is put in the folder that we created. So all that's left to do really is to run this macro. So if I click my run sub user form button, uh, what's commonly referred to as like a play button at the top there. Uh, that will run through this code. It's just publishing my PDFs right now. And here we go. There's our nice little message. They've been successfully exported. Let's have a look at what we have. So I switch to my file explorer into my desktop. There's the PDFs file that's been generated. Here's the sales PDF. That is the current date and time. You can check it down here. 2.54 on the 5th of June. Just in case you're wondering if uh, this is outside of the macro. And here we go, two pages, Bradford and Kettering. So that has exported multiple sheets into a single PDF. And we mentioned how you can do that by either specifying their names or index number in the code. Or you may run it off what a user has selected for a more kind of irregular, kind of like versatile macro. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos and our other tutorials at computergargar.com.